Hello, welcome to DIY Salvation's Trom Talk. I'm Mary Tandry and today I'll tell you the most common reason why you can't seem to get that man you've just met out of your mind. Now you've met a man whether through mutual friends, work, school or chance encounter. You find him interesting, then afterwards, you cannot stop thinking about him. You wish you could, yet can't, and now your mind is not such a comfortable place anymore. Maybe you have a crush, maybe not. You just can't wrap your wits round what's going on. He's got your attention and you want his. You try and flirt the next time you see him, but to no avail. He is either not interested in you or he is the sort that wouldn't know a good flirting if one came up and bit him. He has so much of your attention, yet you have hardly any of his, and it is so unfair. To understand this, let's learn a bit about life itself. In Trom we understand life by understanding the nature of postulates. A postulate is a desire, goal, purpose or intention. There are four basic postulates that govern life. To know. To not know. To be known. To not be known. Postulates can interact with each other in many ways. They can agree with each other. They can conflict with each other. One postulate can overwhelm the other and change it. If you ask a question and you get an answer, then to know and to be known are in agreement. If you play hide and seek, your to know postulate is in conflict with your opponent's not be known postulate, seeking being the to know postulate and hide being to not be known. Someone's to be known postulate can overwhelm you. If the postulate is intense enough, you will continue to know that person, so to speak, even if they are not around. Now back to the man you cannot get out of your mind. Why can't you just forget about this guy and get on with your life? Why can't it be just that simple? Because in examining postulates, and the nature of life, we find there are two activities in this universe that are futile. I will give you this one first as it is the easier to understand. Trying to know something that has not been brought into existence to be known is an act of futility. How can you know something if it doesn't exist? Similarly, it is futile to try and not know something that has been brought into this universe to be known. In your case this man has such an intense, to be known, postulate that he is nearly impossible to forget. He forces you to know him, and it does not go away. Now it is quite natural that you try and get his attention too. You believe this will even the score and balance things. But the man ignores your efforts to get his attention. And that makes it even worse as far as trying to get him out of your mind, because now you start thinking maybe there is something wrong with you, maybe you are not so attractive and charming as you thought. Maybe the problem is not with you, being confident in how attractive and charming you are, maybe he is just an idiot that can't see a good thing when it is right in front of him, and the thought just makes you more resentful and that sticks him in your mind all the more. Don't take this personally. There's likely nothing wrong with you. And there is not really anything wrong with him, other than he is in a compulsive condition regarding the games he plays in life, for the person who is compulsively postulating he must be known is actually putting out two postulates. It's a must-be-known postulate, and simultaneously a must-not-know postulate. Those who intensely want to be known by others really aren't that interested in knowing others. To put it in other words, his desire to be interesting blinds himself to you and others around him. He wants all the attention, and gives practically none. If this sounds strange, think of two people at a party showing off, telling jokes, and all that sort of thing trying to get everyone else's attention. The two of them are not really interested in each other at all. One is trying to be more interesting to everyone else than the other. Similarly, if you are trying to get a man's attention that has so thoroughly gotten yours it overwhelms you, chances are you'll get everyone's attention but his. He's already won this game before you've even started. You are the one preoccupied with him, and not the other way around. So what in bloody hell can you do about this mess? The simplest answer is to just plain know him. If you cannot do this in person, you can at least postulate or in other words intend to know him, and know him willingly, and this may ease some of the tension, 
as you are now no longer engaged in this futile activity of trying to not know something in your mind that is clearly and plainly there. In addition to exhausting his postulate to be known, you need to change your postulate of trying to be known to him by deciding you are not going to be known to him. In other words, you are no longer going to make a fool of yourself by trying to get his attention. Now this doesn't mean you have to go hide in some corner like a child, nor does it mean you have to be rude and not say hello when you see him. You just aren't going out of your way to try and get him to notice you. The solution I've laid out in this video should take care of most situations with this type of man. But a more in-depth and longer-term fix starts on Trom's level 2. In Trom level 2 you view objects as well as people from the past and compare them to objects in your current environment. This simultaneous viewing of the past and present is called time-breaking. It not only breaks the illusion of time, but also reduces the effect of the past on your present, and in this case is highly beneficial if you wish to get over a preoccupation with someone in your past, like the man you can't get out of your mind, for example. DIY Salvation provides free of charge the written instructions on how to do this properly in the book Trom 2023. You can also watch the video titled Time Breaking, the illusion of time explained to aid your understanding of how Trom works, and it's included on the Trom Talk playlists for both men and women. As I mentioned before, what we've discussed today is the most common explanation about and solution for a preoccupation with a member of the opposite sex. The next video in this series, what the sexual tease, the player and hard to get all have in common offers an alternate explanation for what may be going on, and explores further how postulates affect interaction between the sexes.